November 55, Elvis was back here in Nashville for the DJ's convention and he stayed in the Andrew Jackson Hotel which is now was long gone. Still on the corner of Dedrick there. But you can see performing, the word performing arts from the corner. And it was there that in his hotel room that me, Boren Axton, first played him the demo, demo record of Heartbreak Hotel, which Elvis really professed to like him and promised that he would record it at his first RC session. When at this point he hadn't yet in fact been confirmed as RCA signing him. So for whatever reason, uh, Colonel Tom Park had obviously given Elvis the impression that it was a done deal for Elvis to be as confident, uh, telling me, Boren Axton, that he would record it at his first RCA session. Uh, there's another view of where Andrew Jackson Hotel once stood, on that corner there. And that's where Elvis first heard Outbreak Hotel and decided he'd record it. Elvis was back performing at the Ellis Auditorium on the Sunday 13th of November 1955. Uh, he was in the show with uh, Hank Thompson who was like a country swing artist. He had uh, like a 10 piece band also on the bill. That night was a relative newcomer to the recording industry, Carl Perkins. On the 15th of November was uh, just two days after that Ellis performance was when Parker finally got RCA to agree to Sam Phillips' demands for the fee for the contract, for Elvis's recording contract. In Sheffield, Alabama. Just that building across the way there was once the Sheffield Community Hall. Elvis's last appearance here, this third appearance at this venue of 1955, came on the 15th of November, 55 when Elvis appeared here. And it was apparently, uh, it's been said that it was from the stage here that it was announced that Elvis was signing with the RCA Records. And Parker's option to, uh, to negotiate a new recording contract for Elvis was due to expire on this night, Tuesday the 15th. And it's when RCA finally relented to um, Sam Phillips' asking price at the Sun that uh, Parker tried to bring down to no avail. He also made frantic phone calls to the William Morris Agency, Henry Calchheim in uh, New York, to secure four appearances on the Dorsey Brothers uh, stage show, which was also uh, a stipulation from the Presley family, uh, Elvis's mother and father. Parker guaranteed he would get TV, national TV exposure for their son, um, so which RC was still reluctant to do, so Parker uh, had to sort that out sort that out himself which he eventually did. Uh, so on November 15th there was an important night while Elvis was performing here in Sheffield, Alabama at the community centre. November of 1955 Elvis was at the Peabody to finalise the contract with RCA. Uh, RCA executives have come, had come down from New York. Chick Crump Parker had come down and there was photos taken with Bob Neal and Colonel Tom Parker. Even Hank Snow for some reason had uh, flown in, uh, whether he was oblivious to the fact that Colonel Tom Parker had, although they were partners in Jamboree attractions, Colonel Tom Parker had effectively cut him out of any input into the Elvis management contract that he was uh, well, the contract for booking Elvis initially and for the full management contract in March. It was almost like Sam Phillips was unceremoniously out of the picture at this point, although he was there for the photos at Sun Studios, obviously with RCA uh, executives and uh, Colonel Tom Parker and Gladys and Vernon. They came up here to Peabody, minus Sam Phillips, to formalise the contract in a, in a room that Colonel Tom Parker had booked. 